Okay, shalom, shalom. Come yes, Allah. Koholoyim la, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kaha, Radash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And um, just want to say the water to all you, Akim and Akwa, that's out here sincerely, you know, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, to the best of your ability. And though we're not, you know, we're definitely not saved by it, but. The scriptures does say, hey, if you love me, keep my commandments. But you got these, you know, the, the uh, these these Christians, man, talking about the law is done away with and that you can just be a complete demon, man. Like the Lord died for you to just be a complete demon. And that's <laughs> that's not true, man. Christianity is going to get a lot of people destroyed, especially our people, you so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans. You got to get out of that that idolatry, man, because the Lord is not some white guy, first off. He's not some blonde haired, blue eyed white guy. And that's been coming out more and more. The man of perdition, um, that son of perdition, that man of sin is being revealed. And that's the so-called white man, which his name is Esau, Edom. That's his biblical name. And you children of Israel, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the children of Israel, right? And the Lord gave us laws, statutes, and commandments to follow. And pretty much the reason why we're in the turmoil that we're in to this very day is because we, we just went off, man. You know, started following after the other nations, you know, because when we came out of Egypt, Yahweh told us, don't do what the other nations are doing. That's the reason why I'm kicking them out the land, not the promised land, you know, that land of milk and honey. So just wanted to just go into um, Ecclesiastes 12. Um, kind of caught my attention when I was reading, um, studying just a little while ago. Um, verse 11, the words of the wise are as golds and as nails. Fastened by the masters of assembly, which are given from one shepherd. Over here in the NLT, it says the words of the wise are like cattle prods, painful but helpful. Their collected sayings are like a nail studded stick, like a nail studded stick with which a shepherd drives the sheep. And matter of fact, you know what? We might be able to um should be able to get a picture of it. And basically, it's just pretty much a um, like a you know, basically a stick with nail in it, and then you you poke the animal to get them to go the way that you want them to go. You see, because a lot of you know um, your your ox, um, you know, was was a stubborn animal, so to speak. You know, um, it was just you know something that you could guide the animals with, because they're just gonna you know run all types of ways. But that was an instrument that was used. Now th that goes off into this word. That word for us, it does that it, that exact 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 same thing, Salakia. See, it it, it 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 points you in the right direction. So you're you're on path. You know, you're not going to the left or to the right, so to speak, right? Let me see. I could have just went into it. Uh, let's see if they got some images of it real quick. Give you an idea. It says, um, gold, a long stick with a pointed end used for prodding animals. Okay. Let's get these images real quick. See, that this is what it looked like. Like you got a hook on the end. You can pull. You can poke. You can, you know, make them come back to you. And, you know, um, also, you see America, the so-called white man, his kingdom is backwards, right? He'll tell you that you lead from the front, but actually you lead from the back. So you can see all your, you know, your flock. You, you're not just going to walk <laughs> in front of your flock and then you got to keep looking back. No, you're you're going to be. That's the only way. That's the reason for the pride is to poke them basically in a, you know, buttock or, the, you know, the legs and get them to moving in the direction that you, you want them to go in. And you can only do that if you're behind them. Right. And this is what it looks like. You no, know, you got to put a little bit of force. It, you know, it it, it wasn't going to kill them. <laughs> You know, but that also goes off into um, the, the, the words when it comes down to basically a child. It says, spare not the rod, so to speak. So, you know, when you have children, you have to steer them. Right. And, 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 you, and you know, he saw even the so-called white man. He don't want you disciplining your children. He wants them to be completely wild. And Jake is out of control out here these days, man. But anyway. Let's go back into this. 
Okay. Verse 12. Matter of fact, um, well, actually, let me come back to it. Let's get Proverbs. Chapter 10 and verse 13, and I'm going to get verse 21 as well. Quick little lesson. You know, the, um, the brother, he was kind of going into that today, too. He was like, you know, you really don't have to have a, a news article or anything like that, you know what I'm saying, to um, do a lesson. You can just go into the scriptures, whatever comes out, because it's the scriptures that's going to do the work, man. It's not about no, no clickbait. It's not about no, you know, no views, no... You know, well, of course, you want people to, to see it, but the, the Holy Spirit, the Rakash Dash is going to guide whoever needs to see that particular lesson, man. So it has nothing to do with us. OK, so. Um, verse 13, Proverbs 10 and 13. In the lips of him that hath understanding, wisdom is found, but a rod is for the back of him that is void of understanding. And see, that's basically like a pride, man. You know, to, you know, <laughs> get you get you in order. Get you in order real fast, man. Hey, you know, kind of like the last generations of, of butt whoopings, man. Because these children, they're not, they're they're not getting them no more like that, man. And if they are, damn parents is just abusing them because they're just so they don't have the 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 scriptures to actually lead them. You see, they're they're basically beating the hell out of them because they're just you know they just going to just angry mode. <laughs> get to throwing the kids across the room all up against the wall but anyway let's get verse 21 and he reads the lips of the righteous feed many but fools die for one of wisdom see and that's what we're supposed to do when we come into this truth hey we got we got to teach man now everybody may not be a teacher everybody is not you know there's different services um that, that goes with the scriptures you know some people are just helps um some are prophets, you know, some are healers, you know, so to speak. But um, generally, if you're, you know, you can, if you know the scriptures, you can tell somebody about the scriptures. You know, that's nothing. You know what I'm saying? So let's get, um, let's go back to Ecclesiastes. What was we at? 12 and 12 or... Oh, yeah. Um, verse verse 12. And further, by these, my son, be admonished of making many books. There is no end and much study is the weariness of the flesh. And that goes off into, you know, a lot of Jake. They come into this truth and they want to get all deep. <laughs> you know, like the apostles say, they say, don't be too deep. Be one deep because it, the scriptures is basic. But you got these these, you know. They want to go into the, the you know the book of Jasher. They want to go into the, the book of Adam. They want to go into the book of Enoch. All these books and don't even know the scriptures, man. You know, don't even fully know the scriptures. Haven't even read through the, the scriptures. You see, over here in the NLT it says, "But my child, let me give you some further advice. Be careful, for writing books is endless, and much study wears you out." Okay. And then we going verse thirteen is. Is just getting straight to the cut, man, straight to the point. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. That's hey, that's all we're supposed to be be doing, man. It's trying our hardest, you know, to, you know, um, you know, loving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh with all our heart, mind, and soul, man. Matter of fact, let's let's go to Deuteronomy real quick. Chapter 6, verse 12. Oh, Salakia, like verse 2, Salakia. Like like Actually, I can start from the top. Verse 1. Now, these are the commandments, the statutes, and the judgments which Yahweh, your, your power, commanded to teach you that ye might do them in the land whither ye go to possess it. That thou mightest fear Yahweh thy power to keep all his statutes and his commandments which I command thee. Thou and thy son and thy son's sons all the days of thy life. And that thy days may be prolonged. So hey, that went off into a, a, a promise right there. That if you don't want Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is said to do, then you, you know, you will have long days. That's actually that goes off into um 
you know, children basically too. Um, matter of fact, let's go to Exodus real quick. Any um, the Ten Commandments or so like. I think verse 12. Honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long upon the land which Jehovah thy power giveth thee. See? And that, that was a promise to the children. You know, it, 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 that particular commandment came with, with promise. You see? You see that? It says that thy days may be long. And what did that, you know, let's go back to one. Um, Deuteronomy 6. Let me get that back again. Verse 2. That thou mightest fear Yahweh thy power to keep all his statutes and his commandments, which I command thee, thou and thy son and thy son's sons, all the days of thy life, and that thy days may be prolonged. See that? Now we can go to um let's go to basically it's gonna say the same thing. Because you know Yahweh by Shimia Washah is repetitious, you know, it's, it's it's a lot of repetition to the scriptures because he wants us to get it. You see? Because Israel is a stubborn nation, man. We're, we're, we're some hard we're, as a nation, we're just hard headed, man. And that's why, you know, you need uh, uh, that them prods to, to guide you along. These scriptures is what guides you along, you see. Deuteronomy 10 and 12. And I'm going to end out in a sec. I just wanted to just touch on this. Um, because it, it's this, it's definitely the scriptures. That's what's gonna call and pull people into this truth, the ones that he wants to know it, man. You can't force it on nobody. <laughs> you know, because you know, when you come first come into this truth, you you're excited about it. You want everybody to know, and you know, you kind of have that that zeal, that that passion, and you know, you can get into a lot of strife and contention and a lot of, you know, um, arguments and stuff like that if you're, you're trying to force the scriptures on people. That's like um, the Apostle Tahar was talking about um, IUIC rolling up on these churches, the church blitz or whatever they want to call it. See, they're not supposed to be um, um, running up on those people like that, man. You know, you're, you're just trying to gangster yourself and 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 and. and and make them. You're not going to be able to make nobody believe in this truth, man. That, that's all by the power and spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's the only way that's going to happen. Okay, Deuteronomy 10 and 12. And now Israel, Yahshua, which means that, you know, um, Yah meaning he, Sha meaning um, prince. And, and Allah basically means, you know, power or God, prince of the power. You know, he is a prince of, 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 of the power, so to speak. Okay, and it says, and now, Yahshua Allah, what doeth Yahweh thy God require of thee but to fear Yahweh thy power, to walk in all his ways and to love him and to serve Yahweh thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul, to keep the commandments of Yahweh and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. See that? There's another promise to that. Prolonging your days. This is for thy good. You know what I'm saying? And, and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, he only gave the law, the law, statutes, and commandments to um, the children of Israel, man. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He made that covenant with them. And you got these people, you know, that's trying to jump in. On, and matter of fact, they don't even want Israel to be a part of it. They just like, oh, if the Lord don't like Israel no more, we're going to take over. And that's what, what these other nations have done, man. You know, that's what these other nations have done, all under the order and guise of the so-called white man that so, you know, actually beat, <laughs> they beat white Jesus into us in slavery, you see? Okay, well, let me go back. I think um, that, that very last verse, but I can get 13 again. Let us hear the conclusion of the, of the whole matter. For Yahweh. Fear Yahweh and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. For Yahweh shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. See? So, hey, we're praying to Yahweh by Shemiel Shah for mercy. And that, hey, we can make that make that chariot, man. You see? That's what we're, we're, we're praying for. 
So, yeah, just wanted to just touch on this. Hey, we're living in the last days. We're about there, man. It is high time to awake out of sleep, according to um, Romans 13 and 11. And, and you can see all the chaos that's going on out here. The, 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 the prophecies is, is we're seeing prophecies, man, on a, on a week to week, day to day basis, basically. Month to month. You see? So with that, pray that the lesson was edifying. Quam your song.